All right, if you didn't see the last video, this is our sacrificial mower. It's a Briggs & Stratton. And either it doesn't have a drain plug or I'm just too dumb to find it. So if you're wondering why I'm tipping it basically upside down to get the oil out of it, it's because I have to do this like caveman style. So let's get this. It actually doesn't look that bad. It was, it was foamy before. So let's tip this thing over. Whoa. All right. Oh, that does not look healthy at all. You can definitely tell there was some Drano left in there once I put the regular oil back in it. Oh. All right. That's about all of it. Oh, don't fall off the table. What are you doing? Take a look at this oil. <laughs> this oil. I guess there was. Obviously, that's not very healthy. I always say things smell like other weird things, but this, honestly, <laughs> oil and Drano, it smells like shrimp. That's exactly what this smells like. So that's very, very weird. So let's get some, some soap in here. So here we are getting ready to fill it up. I like that this bottle, that this uh, dish soap bottle has this pour spout on here because that's gonna make it way easier to put it in there rather than like last time using my makeshift funnel of just a cut up water bottle. I still, I should have checked how much this takes because I still don't remember. We'll put in, um, let's put in that much. Let's see where that, let's see where that takes us. Not even on the dipstick. So let's put a little bit more. Let's see where that takes us. Is that really still not on the dipstick? I really think this is going to work. I think this is going to be, and if it doesn't work, I think it's at least going to be better than Drano. Still not on the dipstick. Right, this thing must take way more than what I thought. Looks like it's going to take about a whole bottle. A little bit more. Something I just thought of is even if this doesn't work, at least the soap is going to be cleaning the inside of the engine. Perfect. All right. All right, so we have our lawnmower all filled up with dish soap in the engine oil. So before we go outside and start it and see how long it runs, I want you to go ahead and leave a comment down below. How long do you think this is gonna run before it quits, blows up, seizes up, or whatever? I think con considering that the Drano only ran about like 20 seconds maybe, I'm gonna say that it'll probably run I'm gonna hope for two minutes that it'll run before it dies. Let's get this thing outside. All right, we got our lawnmower outside. Now remember, let's hope for two minutes this thing will run. All right, guys. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm very impressed with that. I don't know ex what the exact time is. The exact time will be in the corner of your screen, but according to the timer that I had on my phone, it's about a minute and a half, probably about a minute and 45 seconds. So almost to that two minute mark. And honestly, I didn't think that it was gonna die because it, it ran so good there for the first minute and 20, minute and 30 seconds. All right, let's take us to the garage and see if we can dump out that uh, dump out that soap and see if we can put some oil back into it and bring it back to life. So upon further inspection, <laughs> after letting the mower sit for about, it's been about three or four minutes since it shut off, you can see all this foam coming out of here. And this is obviously the foam from the soap coming out of the air filter. So the whole inside of this is <laughs> covered in foam. And when we take this sponge off for the, for the air filter, the whole inside of here is full of foam from the soap. And you can see the soap all the way deep in there, deep in the carburetor. So with all that being said, um, I think it's safe to say that the mower didn't quit because of a lack of lubrication or because the soap wasn't, wasn't being a good oil. 
I think it just quit just because the soap started getting into the carburetor and clogged up the carburetor. So, in theory, this mower should, and it's not seized up because you can, I pulled it a few times. I think that I should be able to just clean this carburetor and change out, change out this dish soap for oil, and then it should start running again. But since that'll take quite a while, if any, if you want to see that, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll make another video about the whole revival of this lawnmower. But in the meantime, we got our answer. I think, I think it's safe to say, well, to a degree that dish soap can be used as oil for at least a minute and a half. <laughs> but if you want to see me do more things with this lawnmower, go ahead and leave a suggestion, a suggestion in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.